My chess friends, AlphaZero released a brand new version of itself yesterday which is a mind-blowing chess engine, today I played an epic chess game against him where I sacrificed my pieces and the game just became a war. True friendship is like a rose. We don't realize its beauty until it fades, I started the game with e4, we have d6 d4 g6, his goal is clear that he wants to play modern defense against me, so after knight c3 bishop g7 bishop e3 he played a6, this is a standard line of modern defense, I wonder that his new version chooses to play a 2300 rated opening against me, I will eat him in my chicken dinner, I throw a knife on h4 to cut his legs, he defended with h5, queen d2 knight f6 f3 and alpha 0 played b5. This is a new chess opening strategy developed by alpha, he moved his rook and knight pawn to the queen side, likewise to the king side, knight d7 is coming with a threat of c5, rook c8 will use this file where the bishops will enjoy their funetto, that's amazing chess opening strategy but I am not less than him, knight h3 to play knight g5 where my knight will create pressure on these key squares, so after couple of moves later we have knight d7 with the idea of breaking the center with c5. But after castle e6 king b1 queen e7 queen e2 alpha simply developed his knight on b6, he just want to play long castle to ensure the protection of his king under this pawn structure and peace combination, the new alpha 0 is touching the sky, even I can't understand his thoughts, bishop e3 knight d7 rook e1, placing the rooks on ed file so he played long castle, a few moves later, I played f4, e5 is a threat so he responded with knight f6. The knight want to jump in the g4 square to target my bishop and queen so queen back to f1, knight g5 bishop backs all the away, now alpha 0 gets the opportunity to strike in the center first with c5, takes bishop takes c3, capturing the bishop isn't the best move, let me show you the variation why, the pawns will be tripled up and after knight a4, white will face some tactical problems on the king side, if king a1 then after d takes c5, black is threatening to play c4 to target the pawn. The position will be complicated for white. Be open to learning new lessons, even if they contradict the lessons you learned yesterday, so back to the position, I played c takes b6, sacrifices the rook on e1, bishop takes rook queen takes bishop and we have f6, knight f3 e5 and I sacrificed my another pawn, to weaken the black structure by playing queen a5, bishop takes a6 is coming so alpha finds the best move d5, bishop c5 with the supporting of the queen to target the e7 queen, queen ups bishop takes a6. If you dare to capture the bishop then after queen takes bishop, the position will be dead lost for you, if you try to protect the king position with queen d7, then bishop d6 check will destroy you, king cannot move without clothes under the blanket in bed, the queen has to take the bishop then after check king c8. Here b7 white will promote his another queen with a check. The road to success and the road to failure are almost exactly the same, so in this position if you dare to play rook h7, let me show you the variation, then queen a5 will kill your position, I will play center exchanges to fork up pieces by the knight, another tactic is to play b7 to target the rook, so rook b7 queen takes pawn d4 and I will move up my rook, rook a3 is coming to checkmate black in a8. So queen d7 to offer queen exchange but I will show him my attitude by sacrificing the knight and the queen, queen takes queen then knight c6 check will arrive, queen takes knight rook takes rook queen blocks, bishop p6 check rook here, and after couple of moves later we will get this position where white will enjoy three pass pawns on the bc file. They always say time changes things, but you actually have to change them yourself, so back to the position, we have d takes e4, rook exchanges and I sacrificed my knight on d4, if you dare to capture the knight, let me show you the variation, bishop takes b7, threatening to mate in 1, so black has to take the bishop on b7, queen a7 check will destroy the king position completely, king c6 queen to c7 check, the king can't go to the d5 square because of queen takes rook check. King can take the bishop but he can't stop my aggressive b6 pawn movement, so after king b5, we will capture the rook, king takes c5 then b7, black is unable to stop my pawn promotion which means that I am going to win the trophy. Think like a queen, a queen is not afraid to fail, failure is another stepping stone to greatness, so back to the position, alpha 0 responded with queen to f7, f takes e5 f takes pawn, bishop takes b7, 
queen a8 checkmate is coming because the king have no square left to go, so we have queen takes b7 knight back to e2, rook d1 check king a2 e3, knight to c3 and alpha played rook d2, he want to push his e pawn to promote a new queen, king a3 e2 and i has to capture the pawn. Rook takes knight bishop, d6 check, king here queen b5 rook e3 check, b3 knight to f6 to protect the e8 square, so queen c5 check king ups and now, you shouldn't capture the rook, let me show you the variation why, black will simply capture back the bishop with king and he will be completely win the game, because your pawns and king safety will be dead, it's better for white to make some troubles to black king. So wish you all the best thanks for watching subscribe for more bye bye take care see you soon.